welcome back to the garage. Uh, we're going to put together the tail section today. The tail. Just uh, the tail boom, this is the uh, flat sheet. I've just marked the middle of it uh, and 900 spacings for these ribs and drilled a hole in each one just so when I put it in the uh, jig, I can actually line it up. So when I drop it down, I'm gonna have a mark on these uh, stand jigs so that uh, I can line up these holes through that and uh, we should get it spot on in the middle. In the jig, I had to uh, use ratchet straps to actually pull it tight around so I could actually drop that into the jig. It's quite um, tough sheet. So um, yeah, it took a bit of effort to actually get it in there, but um, now that it's in, I can start start drilling these ribs and then drilling them into the actual uh, bottom section of the skin. These tubes, these tubes here are actually gonna drop in along the edges to keep the edges uh, nice and square. So a couple of reasons why I made this curve, this bottom section. Um, obviously curves are a lot stronger. If you imagine once that's curved, that beam is actually super strong. Uh, it won't flex that way. Uh, all my holes in this side of it. I'll drop it in. I'll drop it in here and then back drill all the holes into the skin. I'll do that for all the ribs, then uh, drop in these longer ons into here and then cleco those in as well. So the other thing I want to make sure is all these ribs are all facing this way. So they're all facing one way. So if we get water in here, I'm actually going to seal these whole ribs all the way around and it'll be, there'll be a drain at the bottom in between that square tube. So I can actually open hatches and wash this whole lot out and all that water is all, it's not going to go in between the ribs. It's all going to go down the drain through all of them and all the way out. So that's the plan. All I've done here is I've put a line uh, all the way around where I want the rib to go. I don't know if you can see it there, this red line. And then what I do is the ribs are all pre-drilled. So I just, all I do is line the rib up, level this, because the whole lot's, the whole table's level. And then start uh, drilling from the inside and lining up the hole as I go. So I line up the bottom hole, drill that, click over it, and then just line up the holes to those lines on the inside. So you can see the red line through the hole. It's quite easy. Okay, so this is coming together. It's uh, all been drilled. These here are just tack rivets because what I'm gonna have is an angle, an external angle that'll be sealed and uh, riveted over the top of that. So that's gonna seal the top edge 
of that but uh, yeah as you can see it's all all these holes are drilled so I've got to pull it all apart deburr it and um, prime it then seal it put it back together so yeah coming together pretty well Primed all the edges, every mating surface uh, needs to be primed. So I've primed all the edges, just the edges, um, with an etch primer. And uh, that way I can assemble it and then prime the whole lot um, complete. Once it's complete, I can prime the whole internal. Um, but I'm then going to use a, a marine um, polyurethane which uh, will act as a glue but also a sealant and it will go on every single rib so that once that's in place it'll stop any moisture getting into the joints whatsoever and then I'll cork around the edges so that if I wash this out no water is going to go underneath or inside these joints because that's where you're going to get your corrosion if any uh, is where where it joins any mating surfaces. So I'm just putting in these tack rivets at the moment. Um, all I've got to do is uh, countersink these and uh, just put in a countersink rivet. It's just so it sits flush, it holds the sheet where I need it and uh, Afterwards, I can come back through and actually put a uh, cover strip uh, angle aluminium over the two edges just to seal it all off. So it doesn't take uh, long to put together. Uh, yesterday, Saturday, uh, I built this whole tail boom uh, from scratch and um, be ready to start attaching to the um, boat hull, so it's going pretty well. Uh, it's Sunday at the moment, 6 a.m. Um, just getting started on it, so uh, yeah. All right. So I just thought I'd weigh the whole tail boom. I've finished it apart from uh, the top skin, but basically this whole boom's ready to uh, mount to the actual boat hull section. So the whole tail weighs all of 12.5 kilos or 27.6 pounds. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's a whole boom, the whole back back end of the uh, plane minus the uh, uh, elevator stabilizer and etc. But uh, yeah, kept it pretty light. Um, it is super super solid. Um, it is super super solid um, I can actually even stand on this section here and it doesn't even flex you can see there it doesn't even doesn't even flex I'm jumping up and down so you can see there I've got a square tube uh, keel reinforcement all the way through which is why I can stand on it I just I can't make it uh, flex whatsoever and all these ribs provide a lot of strength as well they're all one mil sheet outer skins 40 thou one mil 6061 t6 right, so just joining the back tail to uh, the hub so what I'm going to do first is make sure that um, I've got it square before I attach it down here and then then I'll adjust the height um, of the actual tail section so I've got a um, got a string line string line from the front point all the way to the back I've marked uh, the center line all the way and um, come up with a square everything is level so I come up with a square, line up the line, 
So I've come up with that square, line up the line on that, the center line and the string line, spot on. So I've done that with every single one and uh, it's come up spot on. So the whole hull is level. I've leveled the whole lot with a spirit level and leveled the whole tail back as well. So I can now put a Klecko in the front of each of these and then I can lift the height to match that, which is 10 degrees. Um, so some uh, articles you read say nine degrees is good for uh, the aft hull section uh, or tail section. Um, I'm going 10 just to give me a little bit more clearance uh, on landing and uh, should work really well. Uh, it's tracking pretty well. I've got, uh, I'm just cutting out some of these uh, brackets in some 63 uh, 6061. Alright, so here's these brackets. Uh, just uh, my clickos are all over the floor as well. So these brackets here. This is the uh, bracket to pick up the uh, rear vertical chromoly tube. So it's on the inside. A 63 with a 125. Uh, 25 by 25 or inch by inch angle extrusion that's the other one so I'm just about to mount the other one and that's the start of the vertical of the rear rear section so what I've got here I've got the internal brackets there I've got the external brackets here mounts all the uh, chrome ollie to the actual tail section these will actually go on top of the sheet so there's a sheet that goes in underneath here um, I just wanted to put the brackets on so we could get it squared up and ready for the sheet to go on and down here this is where it joins into the actual channel I've just scribbled a few holes there that I'm actually going to put some lightning holes all the way through. Um, I just wanted to wait until I had the tail mounted so I know where I can actually put them just to lighten it up a bit. But uh, yeah, it's coming along. Some of these, these here, there'll be some A and 3 bolts through here as well as rivets. So this is the main connection to the tail and then I've extended these tubes so they actually rivet down a little bit further along. And this is the shape of it and how it's all coming along. Okay so this is where I got to after the weekend. Uh, so I've got a fair bit done, things are going pretty quick. Uh, so as you can see, boat holes there, tails attached. I've set up the uh, back chromoly tube, which is the vertical tube, which uh, goes up to where the engine mount is. So yeah, it's taken, taken shape. So if you like these videos, hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, and Catch you on the next one.